What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to make this video because so many of you are getting upset because you're not accomplishing certain goals that you set for yourself on a daily basis. For example, you'll tell me that you wanted to make 100 calls a day and you were really upset because you had to show property a couple days in a row and you couldn't make your calls. And I'm like, showing property is the reason we make calls. Showing property is one of the four things that's most important as a real estate agent. It's okay to skip your call session if you're showing property or doing one of these other four activities. And I'm still giving away tons of signed copies of my book, List of Last, How to Survive Every Real Estate Market Crash. All you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Comment below how long you've been a real estate agent and what market you serve. I want you to use my platform to network with other agents. I'm also going to link two videos below that I made recently that I believe bring tons of value. One is three things to do when inventory is low, which I think really resonates with the current market. So after this video, go in the description and check those two videos out if you haven't already. And before I get into today's video, I just want to share with you a little bit about my personal business right now. Uh, I've sold a lot so far in 2021. We're coming towards the end of February right now. I put $3 million under contract last week. I'm working on one for around $900. I have about $15 under contract and I'm really reaping the benefits of a exactly what I preach to you. What I want you to do is I want you to be a data collector. I want you to be an information finder. Okay, I want you to create friendships and relationships in your markets and build a database. I did exactly what I'm teaching you guys and now since 2017, I haven't had to make a single cold call. I have bought zero leads. I actually do zero social media for my real estate business. I literally live off of my data database through a weekly email and I'm still knocking down a hundred deals a year. Now in today's market right now with low inventory where it's really hard to get listings, it's really hard to represent buyers who are competing against 10 other buyers. I am reaping the benefits of having that database in place and clients are just coming to me that want to sell. Buyers, very motivated buyers are coming to me and I'm getting buyers under contract. I know it may be tough right now as a new agent to squeeze into this really tight market, but I promise you, if you'll listen to what I'm saying and build your database, use this opportunity to really five and 10 and 20 X your database, you one day will reap the benefits and have so many clients and referrals and, and repeat customers coming back to you to do business. You're not gonna have to chase business forever is what I'm saying. If you put the work in to build your foundation and do it right and build those relationships, you'll come to a point where you don't have to hustle and bustle so hard to get out there and chase business. Business will be chasing you. Okay, let's get into these four most important things to do as a real estate agent. So these four things are at the very top. These are the most important things that you can possibly even imagine to do. Everything else is below these four things, okay? So there's these four things and then phone calls, believe it or not, are less important than these four things. If you're doing these four things instead of making calls, it's okay. Here's the problem, all the other stuff, okay, all the other stuff below that. You guys are doing these things below the four and the phone calls instead of making calls and that's where we're running into trouble. If all you did were these four things eight hours a day, every day, you would be the richest, most successful, most wealthy real estate agent in the entire world. You would never have to do another activity ever again in your life if you're filling up your schedule with these four activities. The first one I already mentioned, it's showing property. Showing property is one of the most highest productive activities you could possibly do. And I don't care if the buyer doesn't move forward. That's not what this is about. Remember guys, relationships over transactions. We just want to build that relationship with as many people as humanly possible. There's a lot more that you get out of showing property than just trying to get a contract done and close a deal. 
You have to look at everything you do as having dual purpose. More than one reason for why you are doing this action. You need dual purpose in everything you do. A backup reason, whereas if the primary reason falls through. So the primary reason, of course, everyone probably agrees that is to help this buyer buy a house. Okay, however, if that doesn't work out, we have all these other reasons of why we, we are showing property that make this activity productive. Productive. For example, number one, the biggest one, of course, the most obvious one is that we're building a relationship with this buyer. So if they don't buy today, later down the road, they will. And they're going to refer people to us, especially if we handle the entire situation professional, even if they don't buy. See, that's where a lot of agents win or lose. They kind of have a chip on the shoulder if the buyer doesn't move forward and the buyer feels that and then they just go to another agent and refer all their business and do everything with another agent because they don't like how the agent made them feel guilty for not moving forward on a property. Another reason that showing property is very productive, even if they don't buy, is the fact that you're out in the market physically looking at homes. Okay, you've got firsthand information of looking at different places and, and what's on the market and what you get for your dollar and what the actual conditions are of some of these properties. This is, this is data that you need as a real estate agent, as a professional. It's very good experience to get out and look at properties. So don't chalk this up as a loss just because the buyer doesn't move forward. And hey, if they buy a house, then woo, let's go. The second activity of the four that are the most productive is negotiating deals. Okay, negotiating deals. I'll stop anything I'm doing if a call comes in that I'm in the middle of negotiating. I want to catch that call. I want to see where we are and what we need to do to move forward to take one more step closer towards getting that deal accepted and ratified and under contract. The third thing is writing offers. Okay, if a buyer calls me and says, Ricky, I want to make an offer on this property. Do you think I'm going to let anything get in the way of me and writing that offer for that buyer and putting it and submitting it to the, to the listing agent? Absolutely not. This is going to be probably number one here. If a buyer asks me to write an offer, I am all over it. I don't care what I have going on. I'm going to make sure that I do this as quickly as possible for one reason, especially in today's market, there's more than likely going to be two, three, four, eight, ten, twenty 10, 20 other buyers in line to buy that property. So I have to move quickly. And even if we're not in a market like we are now, where there's a lot of competition and very low inventory, I'm still moving as quickly as I can because I don't care if a property's been on the market for 150 days, 200 days, 300 days, four, five, 600 days. I see it every time. The moment that you have a client that wants to make an offer on a property, regardless of how long it's been on the market, it seems like everybody had that same idea at the same exact time and all of a sudden, boom, this property that's been on the market for 450 days all of a sudden has two or three offers on it. So when a buyer decides to move forward on a piece of property and make an offer, you need to act quickly. And the fourth most important activity as a real estate agent is going to listing appointments, okay? Or dealing with listings, writing up a listing, anything to do with obtaining a listing. Guys, listings multiply your time more than anything in the history of real estate agents. It allows you to literally multiply yourself over and over and over again into the market. Think about it like this, your franchise, you're, you're creating little franchises out there that are out there working and you have all these other agents out there working to sell that listing for you, right? And then you make the listing side of that commission. It's the same thing as if you wanted to buy a bunch of McDonald's franchises all over the place. It's the same thing, right? Think about it like this. Listings are literally you franchising yourself all over your market and you have your signs up in all the yards. Everybody sees your name. It's literally the same thing. In my entire career, I have focused solely on property owners, not just for listings, but for listings and buyers, right? For sellers and buyers. The, the owners, property owners, are the highest quality buyers out there, period. So in my mind, if, if there's an unlimited amount of owners for me to contact and try to work with and build friendships and relationships with, why would I contact or work with any other leads in the market, period? 
it still boggles me to this day that people spend so much money on buyer leads. It just boggles my mind. I think you guys should solely focus on property owners in your market. Think of yourself as a politician. Canvas the market with phone calls and digital marketing to let every single person in your market who owns property know who you are, what you do, and that you're here to help. And you can pick up property owners in any subdivision that you want, you pick it with Red X, okay? For two cents a piece, you can get their contact information. Red X still has a $150 discount going on right now. I'll put a link in the description. You guys need to go there and get Geo Leads, which allows you to pick out the property owners you want, get expireds, go back two years and get the thousands of expireds in your market and go to town and get the storm dialer so you can automatically dial these numbers. Now, I didn't have Red X when I first started. I had to dial everything by hand. I had to look up all the numbers by hand, okay? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, let me repeat, ridiculous, how quickly you can do things now. It's 10 times faster than when I started in the business. It took me 15 hours to look up and dial 100 numbers. Now you can do the same task in an hour and a half, and nobody's taking advantage of this. Every single agent should be on Red X, acquiring those numbers, and supplementing that with the digital marketing that they're doing. Reach out to me if you have any questions whatsoever about Red X, I'll be glad to help. I hope you got a lot out of this video. Don't miss your opportunity to win a signed copy of my book, List to Last. Just comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what in the world I can do for you, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Let's go.